Ethyl benzene is an organic compound with the formula C6H5CH2CH3. It is a highly flammable, colorless liquid with an odor similar to that of gasoline. This monocyclic aromatic hydrocarbon is important in the petrochemical industry as an intermediate in the production of styrene, the precursor to polystyrene, a common plastic material. In 2012, more than 99% of ethyl benzene produced was consumed in the production of styrene. Occurrence and applications Ethyl benzene occurs naturally in coal tar and petroleum. The dominant application of ethyl benzene is role as an intermediate in the production of polystyrene. Catalytic dehydrogenation of ethyl benzene gives hydrogen and styrene. C6H5CH2CH3C6H5CH equals CH2 plus hydrogen arsenide of May 2012. Greater than 99% of all the ethyl benzene produced is used for this purpose. Niche uses Ethyl benzene is added to gasoline as an anti-knock agent, meaning it reduces engine knocking and increases the octane rating. Ethyl benzene is often found in other manufactured products, including pesticides, cellulose acetate, synthetic rubber, paints, and inks. Used in the recovery of natural gas, ethyl benzene may be injected into the ground. Production Ethyl benzene is produced in on a large scale by combining benzene and ethylene in an acid-catalyzed, chemical reaction. C6H6 plus C2H4 C6H5 CH2 CH3 In 2012, more than 99% of ethyl benzene was produced in this way. Thus, manufacturers of ethyl benzene are the major buyers of benzene, claiming more than half of total output. Small amounts of ethyl benzene are recovered from the mix of xylenes by superfractioning, an extension of the distillation process. In the 1980s, a zeolite based process using vapor phase alkylation offered a higher purity and yield. Then a liquid phase process was introduced using zeolite catalysts. This offers low benzene to ethylene ratios, reducing the size of the required equipment and lowering byproduct production. Approximately 24,700,000 tons were produced in 1999. Health effects The acute toxicity of ethyl benzene is low, with an LD50 of about 4 grams per kilogram of body weight. The longer term toxicity and carcinogenicity is ambiguous. Eye and throat sensitivity can occur when high level exposure to ethyl benzene in the air occurs. At higher level exposure, ethyl benzene can cause dizziness. Once inside the body, ethyl benzene biodegrades to 1 phenylethanol, acetophenone, phenylglyoxylic acid, mandelic acid, benzoic acid, and hippuric acid. Ethyl benzene exposure can be determined by testing for the breakdown products in urine. As of September 2007, the United States Environmental Protection Agency EPA, determined that drinking water with concentration of 30 parts per million ppm for one day or 3 ppm for 10 days is not expected to have any adverse effect in children. Lifetime exposure of 0.7 ppm ethyl benzene is not expected to have any adverse effect either. The U.S. Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA, limits exposure to workers to an average 100 ppm for an 8-hour work day, a 40-hour workweek. Ethyl benzene is classified as a possible carcinogen by the International Agency for Research on Cancer IARC. However, the EPA has not determined ethyl benzene to be a carcinogen. The National Toxicology Program conducted an inhalation study in rats and mice. Exposure to ethyl benzene resulted in an increased incidence of kidney and testicular tumors in male rats, and trends of increased kidney tumors in female rats, lung tumors in male mice, and liver tumors in female mice. As with all organic compounds, ethyl benzene vapors form an explosive mixture with air. When transporting ethyl benzene, it is classified as a flammable liquid in class 3, packing group 2. Environmental effects Ethyl benzene is found mostly as a vapor in the air since it can easily move from water and soil. A median concentration of 0.62 parts per billion ppb was found in urban air in 1999. 
A study conducted in 2012 found that in country air the median concentration was found to be 0.01 ppb and indoors the median concentration was 1.0 ppb. It can also be released into the air through the burning of coal, gas, and oil. The use of ethylbenzene in industry contributes to ethylbenzene vapor in the air. After about three days in the air with the help of sunlight, other chemicals break down ethylbenzene into chemicals that can be found in smog. Since it does not readily bind to soil it can also easily move into groundwater. In surface water, it breaks down when it reacts with chemicals naturally found in water. Generally, ethyl benzene is not found in drinking water, however it can be found in residential drinking water wells if the wells are near waste sites, underground fuel storage tanks that are leaking, or landfills. As of 2012, according to the EU Dangerous Substances Directive, ethyl benzene is not classified as hazardous to the environment. Ethyl benzene is a constituent of tobacco smoke. Biodegradation Certain strains of the fungus Cladophyllophora can grow on ethylbenzene. The bacterium, Aromatolium aromaticum, EBN1 was discovered due to its ability to grow on ethylbenzene. References National Toxicology Program, Toxicology and Carcinogenesis Studies of Ethylbenzene, CAS No. 100 41 4 in F. 344, N. Rats and B6C3F1 Mice Inhalation Studies. TR No. 466. U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Public Health Service, National Institutes of Health, Bethesda, Maryland 1999. External links National Pollutant Inventory, Ethybenzene Fact Sheet NLM Hazardous Substances Databank, Ethylbenzene EPA Chemical Database Intox Chemical Database Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry CDC, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards